I'm going to show you how to quickly convert percentage strengths to pass per million and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and more, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's get right to it. In this video tutorial, we are going to take a look at four strategically selected examples and I'm going to show you a nifty trick on how you can quickly convert percentage strength to PPM in under 30 seconds. So let's take a look at the first question and then we'll go through the typical process by which you convert percentage strength to PPM and then I'll show you the expeditious route. So the question reads express 0.0002% in parts per million. And so the way you normally would solve this question is to recall the definition of percentage strength which is some quantity in grams out of 100 milliliters and then the definition of parts per million which is some quantity in grams out of a million milliliters. And so for the 0.0002% you actually have 0.0002 grams in 100 milliliters. We can now set up a proportion and we'll be determining how many grams is actually in a million milliliters. So this is the definition of PPM on the right hand side. If we solve for X which is our unknown, we end up with the quantity in PPM. So we can go ahead and actually do that. We can solve for X. X is going to be equal to 0.00. .00 zero two grams times a million milliliters divided by 100 milliliters and so you can go ahead and cancel a few zeros out so this two zeros will take care of these two zeros here and so x is going to be equal to 0 0.0002 grams times 10,000 and that should be equal to two and so the answer will be two ppm now if you take a closer look at what is happening here you actually are multiplying the 0 0.0002 percent by 10,000 and so that is equivalent to shifting the decimal place four places to the right and so the first way is simply to take the percentage strength which would be 0.0002% and then you move the decimal place four places to the right. So that will be one, two, three, four. So if we did that, we end up with 2 ppm. So now let's take a look at another question and apply the nifty trick that we just looked at. So this question says express 0.00044% as parts per million. So the trick here is to take the parts per million and move the decimal place four places to the right. So we have 0.00044. We move the decimal four places to the right. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. And so we end up with 4.4 ppm. So now let's take a look at another scenario where you actually have the parts per million and you want to convert that to percentage strength. So typically the strategy will be to use the definition of parts per million which would be some quantity in grams out of a million milliliters and then the definition of percentage strength which is some quantity in grams out of a hundred milliliters. But let's take a look at the question and see how that plays out. So the question says express 550 parts per million as a percentage strength. So 550 parts per million implies that you have 550 grams out of a million milliliters. And we can set up a proportion such that we are going to determine the number of grams out of a hundred milliliters. So we can go ahead and solve for X and when we do that, whatever value we get would be the percentage strength. 
So we have x equals 550 grams times 100 milliliters and we divide that by a million milliliters. So these zeros will cancel out, the milliliters will also cancel out. And you have x equals 550 grams divided by 10,000. And that is going to be equal to 0.055%. So if you take a look at what actually happened here, we took the 550 and divided that by 10,000. And that is equivalent to moving the decimal four places to the left. So the expeditious way to do this would be to take the parts per million, which in this question is 550, and we would move the decimal four places to the left. So that would be one, two, three, four. So that implies that you end up having 0.055%. So now let's take a look at another question and apply this nifty trick. So here the question says express 25 parts per million as a percentage strength. So using this trick, we'll take the 25 and we will move the decimal four places to the left. So that'll be one, two, three, four. So that actually means you end up with 0.0025%. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, like it and share it. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I see them. Also, if you like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your life and I will see you in the next video.